Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how to turn this very casual looking selfie into a professional looking headshot using a completely free AI tool. I've given the link to this tool that you can see in front of you in the description and also the image that we're going to be using, you can download that. That will also be given in the description. So let's get started with this. Once you go to this website, you're going to go to AI tools and you will select AI headshot generator and click on this, get free AI headshots. And then according to the gender and the type of shot you want, you can select any of these options. Since this is a female portrait, even though I will be showing you some other portraits also, including some male portraits later on uh, at the end of the video. Uh, right now we have a female portrait, so we're gonna select either this or this. So we'll go for the indoor one that just slightly looks more professional. So we're gonna hit try this. And right now we're gonna upload that particular image. And it's pretty much a one-click process. So let's do that. Right, so I just uploaded that particular image. And now we can also select an aspect ratio before we hit generate. So let's stick to the square aspect ratio, one is to one, and we're gonna hit generate. It just takes around 10 to 20 seconds for this to generate the headshot. So let's wait for this. All right, so you can see that just within a few seconds, we've got a pretty decent looking headshot. I have tried a lot of different free AI tools for generate these headshots and this is by far the best because the other ones, they, it's, the results are so terrible that you just simply feel they've given you another person in the generation, but at least here, there is some similarity considering this is a free AI tool, but we can take this to the next level because there's a second step to this and we actually don't have to leave the app for that. The second step is that in order to improve this, what we can do is we can take this as our original image and then do a face swap. So if I go again to AI tools here, we can go to the AI face swap, which is also available with AI ease. And here we can first upload the face that we want. So this time we're going to upload the original picture here. And this is where we upload the generated picture. So let's do that. All right. So we've got our pictures ready and now we can hit swap face. And now the results that you're going to get, this is going to be much, much closer when it comes to her face to the original photograph. So let's wait for this. All right, so you can see that dramatically improved the face here. Now it looks much more closer if you look at the cheeks, if you look at the eyes, the smile. So you can see here, the one on the left is what we started off with. The one in the middle is what we got after the first stage just by using the or the headshot generation tool and on the right most is obviously the um, one that we got after swapping the face. Now let me also just show you some other pictures that I've tried with this. So you'll get an idea that yes, it, sometimes it can do a good job, but sometimes it can also lack. So let's just look at some other shots also. So this was one of the examples that I tried. So this was the original image. This is what we got after the first step. And this was also not bad, right? But once you do the face swap, you can see that it really gets those features, even things like the beard hair, just really gets it very, very well. So I'm very, very impressed with this tool simply because everything is in one place and an extra click doesn't even take too much time. But I was very impressed with this particular edit. And the reason for that is I deliberately chose an image in which things were not so convenient. He's uh, like, you can't really see the fa uh, face too well since it's not a close up shot. Uh, there are distractions like the phone itself, his hand, his eyes are closed. And despite of all this, even on the first stage, you can see that this created a pretty impressive professional headshot. And once we did the face swap, this is really as professional as it can get. And just imagine there's no watermark. It's a completely free tool. Yes, when you do download these images, it restricts you to uh, slightly downscales the image. I think it's uh, 1024 pixels on the longer side, which is also not less considering if you just want to use it for social media. But towards the end, I'll also be showing you how to upscale these images. So it's not a problem at all. But this was really impressive. However, I did also try this with my own portrait and it was 50-50 for me. So let me show you that also. So this was the original. This of course was the first stage shot that we got after the headshot generation tool was really bad. You can see that uh, this just kind of distorted the face a lot. But after the face swap, I would say yes, it's not too bad. Now for me, um, of course, because it's my own face, so I might be more critical since I see myself daily, but I just still feel that this could have been slightly better. Because if you look at this, nothing like 
what can't be corrected in Photoshop, for example, we can use the liquify tool because there are some problems with the alignment of the nose and the lips and the eyes. This all can be fixed very easily, but right now I'm just evaluating things you know, just on the basis of what it gives out. So this was not bad, but not too good. Let's put it this way, but again, very good when it comes to a free tool. Now talking about free and paid tools, I will soon be doing uh, a thorough comparison between different paid headshot generating AI tools also. That video will come at some point, so make sure you do subscribe to this channel. But before that, I just wanna quickly show you how to upscale uh, this photo also. So I've shown this tool a couple of times. It's completely free, so again, AI based. You can go to upscale.media slash upload. The link will be given in the description. Upload the image and that's it. You really don't have to do anything. Right now it's just increased it to two times the size. You can go four, eight, it's a free tool. You get certain amount of credits that you can use per day. Simply hit download image and let's see the final result. All right, so this is the final result that we've got. We started off from this and we've gone to this and I think for a free tool that is pretty amazing, but there's something else that I wanna show you. So remember I told you in some time I do plan to do a comparison between the different paid headshot generating AI tools, because these are obviously gonna be way, way better than what we got even with the free tool. But of course they are paid, but there's one tool that I did find in my research, uh, which is Aragon.ai, which is again a paid tool, but here's the cool thing. You can actually use this, okay? So you can create an, a free account, you click on create your headshots. Now you have to upload like four to five images, but here's a good thing about this. They actually, will give you the images for free, but the turnaround time is something like 12 to 13 days. So you might have to wait for two weeks, but that way it's completely free. So just thought I'll end this video on this note. I haven't tried that, but you can try that on your own because I intend to pay for this because this will be a part of my experiments with uh, around four to five other AI tools and we'll do a comparison of all the paid tools. But that's it for right now. I'm someone who's doing a lot of experiments with all sorts of AI tools, free and paid, which can help photographers, especially in the realm of AI photo editing. So if you wanna follow these experiments, do subscribe to the channel. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.